everybody four star here and i already know what you're gonna say four star you already made your coach why are you making him again well guess what my file for the uh ncaa uh dynasty that we were doing and we were planning on doing uh it got corrupted and it was a lot of glitches that was going on so that's probably because of me modding and me not knowing what i'm doing so i decided to just recreate the dynasty again but use the regular 07 rosters in alignment so i apologize uh for people that were trying to see a little bit of an interesting turn for the dynasty but this time around we're gonna be doing a regular dynasty so i hope you guys enjoy this one um we're, uh, once again we're using connecticut and we got the actual 2007 rosters for uh, the Connecticut Huskies, we got a lot of good guys on offense. We got some uh, guys on defense that are pretty well off. But I think our biggest deal was the um, offensive line, and I saw that immediately. So I picked out some guys here that will we'll be hunting down uh, this season. We got some centers, we got some tight ends, and we're ready to start this game against Rhode Island. And already, we already starting off on a bad foot, man. Already getting sacked in our very first play. This time, third and 18. I'm looking back. Hernandez is looking. He can't find anyone. And it's already beginning to start like how our first game was with UMass. Lylan gets the ball. They start off uh, shotgun formation. Throws it right to their impact player. Wide receiver number 11. And he's going to showboat his way to the end zone. They score is now 7 to nothing. And at first I'm thinking, wow, this might be a repeat of just la uh, last week where we just couldn't get anything done. But I could tell by that spin right there that we was going to do something great. So Carly, we give the ball counter trap on the left. He goes all the way down the sideline. That is a touchdown. And we tie this game up 7-7. Seven, seven. And now I'm feeling a little bit more confident with myself. Here they go. They get the ball second down. Fullback goes up inside. And they're going to be using this fullback a lot. Here's another first down play, and we give him that smackdown right on that first play. That was number 14, giving him that lick. So second down and 15, quarterback dropping back, rolls off to the right, and finds our edge rusher right for his face. It's going to be third down this time. Goes off to the right again, and he's going to find another edge rusher right for him. This time we get the ball, and the defense is looking a little bit stout this time. I'm not going to lie. Fast forward to third down, and I'm not even going to lie. I panic on that play. I throw it away. It's fourth down. So it's Rhode Island's ball. They drop back. Number seven fumbles the ball, and it's picked up by impact player Fuller, and he gets the ball for us, and our momentum is shifting, folks. We feel it in our hearts. We're going to get into this end zone this time around after that bad drive last time. Second and goal. Carly in the zone, and you can't stop him when he's in the zone. You can't you can barely stop these players when they're in the zone. He gets a touchdown there, and now it is 13 to 7. So the Rams get the ball back this time. Tries to go for another option, and he gets stopped right behind the line. You're gonna be seeing that a lot this time. Seven drops back again. Looks like he was trying to run there, but he meets the same guy again. This time it's third and 16. Number seven dropping back. Can't find anyone. We got some good coverage. But he finally finds number 11, and he breaks free for a good first down. But guess what? It's a holding call, and it's going to be halfway to the distance. It's going to be third and 24. And you can tell this coach is living out there in the rain, man. Better not catch a cold, man. Number 7 dropping back, throws off his back foot, and it is incomplete. That was a horrible throw. This time, we give it to Coley, and oh, that's a spin move right there. You're going to be seeing that a lot from our running backs as they are going to be breaking these boys' ankles. Five-yard play for Murray on that play. This time, third down situation. And the quarterback, Hernandez, throws a dot to Young for a big first down. It's first and goal. Hernandez throws it to Murray after they go for a blitz on that play. And it is now 21 to nothing, man. And the momentum has completely shifted our way, man. So a third down situation for the Rams. They decided to go for a fullback dive, and they're just going to give it up here. They punt the ball away. They give it to Taylor, and it's a good punt. They have an impact punter here, but that doesn't mean nothing to Taylor as he gives a juke, and he is down off to the races. They're not going to catch him. He's going to go all the way to the end zone. Touchdown, and you can tell 
where this game is going 28 to nothing by halftime. So Rhode Island gets the ball in the second half. It's third and nine. Quarterback rolling to the right, and it gets tipped away. Nothing for him on that play. They punt the ball to us, and we get a power eye on the right side. And Hernandez has nobody in front of him, nothing but green. And he's going to take this one all the way to the house. Touchdown all the way down, 66 yards from that play. And Rhode Island gets the ball back, but it's fumbled, and Ward will pick this one up. And it obviously looked like he was down by contact, but they didn't challenge the play. And we will get the ball here. First and 10, 406 left in the third quarter. Bonislavski, we got our second team offense in there. And we get the first down there by Dewar. First and goal. Single back formation. Bonislavski, he just pitches it off the tail until he can get the free touchdown. And it is a blowout. 42 to 7 on this play. They go for another Maryland eye or wing T formation. And they keep fumbling the ball. Number seven is not having a good day. He's got the bad case of the fumble light is there. Bonislavski throws a dart to Gray there on an easy play action fake touchdown. And it is getting ugly here, folks. Quarterback number seven throws it again. He gives it to number nine on a second down. And it is a strip. Another fumble on the play, but they get the recovery. Number 22, this time he tries to run and he gets another fumble. That is about their fourth or fifth fumble today. And they give us the ball once again. I don't even think they've crossed the 50 since their first touchdown. Bonislavski stays in that pocket, man. He goes a little bit outside and he throws it to Jeffers, taking a big hit. Man, and I hope he does that for a long time. I don't know what... um year he's in but I hope he keeps this up if he's the future of our team there we go that's another touchdown by our running back uh, I believe that was Williams and Rhode Island gets caught up on that play I believe we were really defending that running back this time they try to throw the ball into fourth down they give us the ball back on a punt Taylor just doing another spin move man I believe our running backs have gotten like three four spin moves off today and Bonislavski looking dropping back he gets hit on the throw, and it gets intercepted by number 19, our only blemish today. And on a third down, they give the ball to number 9 on the pass play, and it's incomplete. Giving us the ball one last time. Taylor running up the field off the, lot, off the left side there, and he gets all the way down to the 30-yard line on a tremendous run run there we're just trying to run the clock down now and a good block by our i believe that was our right guard and he got a great block as we were about to get a loss on the play but we get a big first down bonislavski is going to cap it off with a big touchdown there and it's going to be 63 to 7 for our final score man and man i was in my bag on this game man i, I felt like i didn't want to lose again i didn't want to have another tight game like the UMass game and i just wanted to get a nice good win so we could start off the season and it was a good one too uh hernandez and bonislavski had their uh, great plays uh two touchdowns and one int combined for them our running game was damn near perfect as a lot of rushes there 76 yards from Murray there and two touchdowns and it was really good. I believe Williams had two touchdowns, uh, a lot of great plays, a lot of forced fumbles, and we just had an impressive game today. So now we're looking into recruiting now and we got our guy Jacob Allen. He, him and his parents enjoyed the official the unofficial visit so that is pretty good he's one of the best uh middle linebackers in the country and really we need some points on a guy like that here we go vincent super palms palm west palm beach no palm beach garden florida he seems to like us a little bit and he puts us in his top five so we're gonna put 10 points on him we got a guy from rome new york tyrone satelli it's not really concerned about playing time. We give him a little bit of points there. We got Jason Clark. He's a halfback. He's number four in the nation. His coaching style is an important factor, so we give him some points too. He's also in our top five. A lot of guys in our top five because of the uh, game that we had against Rhode Island. And hopefully it's not as bad as uh, week three because we're going to be taking on number two Texas next week. Got James Johnson. They're not really interested in us, uh, even though we 
really might need a wide receiver uh, in the next following season. But we always got um, an off-season recruit to, uh, to take that place for us. We got Reggie Hall, and uh, he liked the blowout win. I believe he liked the blowout win there, so we're going to give him that. Uh, we really need some big hog mollies on that line because I really want to shift towards a really good offensive line. Everybody wants a good offensive line, right? And uh, the way that we play and our running backs that we're trying to recruit is uh, really going to uh, impact that really well. So hopefully um, that's the thing that we can do. Um not surprised that him and his high school team is undefeated so far this season. Uh, it really doesn't help us with anything. Uh, the center is not a fan of yours. And, you know, I, I take that a little bit personal. I take that a little bit personal, you know. So, I'm not going to put no points in you. If you're not a fan of us, then why would you come here, right? So, we got Adam Price. Looks like we're not going to put no points in him. I think that uh, we shift some points over uh, because we got 10 extra points. Um, and I think I put a little bit more points into some of these guys here because of the fact that we are in their top three. Yeah, we put in the left tackle there. Uh, he said coaching style is not a factor. And we put 20 there. I believe we flipped that. We put 15. And then we give it to Hall there. Yeah, and that's it. So, right now, we're taking on Texas. We got a bye week, week two. So, tune into that one. And I hope you guys like this video and like and subscribe. More videos are coming down to USFL. We got um, NFL Europe coming on the way. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy all the content. Thank you guys for watching. And peace out.